that, I'm sure you let the, the thought of a night like this run through your mind. Uh, and probably when you were in prison, you probably came across as what you were deprived of in life. Did you ever think that some, a night like this was possible? Yeah. You did? Of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's happening. Yeah. You know, I think that, you know, this is something that, you know, uh, it's a once in a lifetime. You know, but I, I did not suspect in no way, form, or fashion that I would be fighting another Oscar in the Hoyer with Bernard Hopkins. Come on, never, never in my life have I thought that. I thought it would just be, a, you know, a, a cheap club, you know, where I get, you know, where I can feel good and get it out the way. But uh, this is uh, the top of the line, and uh, I, I'm very, very grateful for them giving me this opportunity. And let's be honest, Seraph, I mean, if you put on a pretty good uh, performance here, why wouldn't you come back and let people continue to kind of repeat that story, which is so inspirational and influential to people, right? You know, and have a platform for maybe the next year or two. Yeah. Why wouldn't you consider doing that instead of making it a one-fight only deal? Uh, no. Uh, this is a sport where you can get hurt. This is a sport, this is a young man's sport, you know. Uh, now, if, I, if you take 20 years off, 30 years off, that's different. You know, uh, you know, I'm at that stage now where I'm dealing with reality. Reality is, is that you know, uh, to make it like I said it was going to be, and then move on. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if it's a boxing expedition, I may do that. You know, but as far as you know, making it a pro fight, nah. Dude, what kind of uh, research? What kind of scouting have you done on your opponent? I know he's zero and three, and I know that he's desperate for a win. So that means I'm have to come out ready to fight. You know, he's uh, he's got all losses. Doesn't mean that he they, that, that that doesn't mean that he doesn't want to win. And also because now look at the stage that it's on. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be really ready for this fight. You know, and I'm gonna have to be really ready to uh, to make sure that you know whatever I do. That um, it's from the heart, and I give my I give my all. Yeah. You know? And I'm planning on winning. I ain't planning on going out there to lay down. That's out the question. Dude, how do you feel about Bernard being on Bernard's undercard, considering that he learned boxing at the same place where you did in jail? Hey. All right. Thank you. Um. Being under the Bernard Hopkins undercard is, is 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 amazing. You know that's a once in a lifetime gift. There's gonna be people that are gonna wish that they were in my position. <laughs> you know, so um, I'm grateful. Um, I believe that it all started from the SP Awards when I received the Arthur Ashe Coverage Award, and uh, everybody knew that I wanted that one fight, and so now they gave me that opportunity, and um, this is where it goes from here. And final question: How does it feel to be a free man? What do you think? Look at me. <laughs> it feels excellent, you know. I'm not on the other side with a pair of handcuffs on, you know. And I got to hit a, a, the door slam. Nah, I, I, I like this side much, 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 much better. Thank you.